Namaste my friends. Welcome to this IoT series. Yes, a free IoT series where I am going to share my knowledge of IoT with you in the simplest form possible so that you can get started with IoT. You might have few questions in your mind. Who is this guy? Why should we learn IoT from you? And first of all, why should we learn IoT? For those, here are my answers. I am Mukesh Sankla, a software developer at Siemens on a mission to digitalize a factory. Also, I am a maker who makes and shares things on the internet related to 3D printing, electronics, programming to learn and teach the tech. So, with this series, I am going to do the same, which is first I am going to start by refreshing my understanding of IoT concepts and then make videos and documentations to share them with you so that it becomes easy for you to grasp the IoT without the hassle of searching for the resources. Most importantly, I am going to provide practical demonstrations rather than just theoretical explanation. For the theoretical aspect, I am going to share the documentations so that you can learn them at your own pace. Now, coming to our third question, why should we learn IoT? For that, let's uncover what IoT is all about, the incredible evolution of IoT and the mind-blowing future that it holds. Now, let's see what is IoT. Internet of Things or IoT refers to as Interconnected Network of Physical Devices or as we like to call them as Things. Things? Yes. Things like our smartphones, our sleek smartwatches, the smart home appliances, the modern cars and everything which is connected in some or the other way. In simple words, IoT is all about connecting things or devices or systems. Right now, there are 16 billion devices connected to the internet, which is twice the number as many devices as there are people on this planet. And guess what? Experts are predicting by 2030, this number is going to jump to a whopping 40 billion devices. Just imagine the future of IoT. Now let's see from where the IoT has evolved. It all started in 1990s, during the time digital connectivity just began which led to basic internet facility like email and the browsers. As the technology progressed, we entered the era of digital economy, which led to e-commerce and the digital supply chain. Then came the world of immersive experiences, which was led by social media, mobile phones, video streaming and cloud computing. And now we are here, about to enter the digital world where everything from our homes to the offices to the manufacturing facilities and the farms are connected and smart. Whether you are an engineer like me, specialized in software, electrical or mechanical engineering, diving into IoT can be an excellent career choice. In this era of rapid AI advancement, IoT offers a safe branch to explore. Why? because it encompasses a wide array of skills and expertise beyond just software, electrical or mechanical engineering. From manufacturing to healthcare, transportation to agriculture, IoT opens doors to endless opportunities. So let's roll our sleeves and begin towards this exciting journey of IoT. Before we dive into our next topic, let's thank DF Robot for making this IoT series possible. It's their support which allowed me to bring you this free educational content. DF Robot is a leading provider of electronics, offering wide range of high quality electronic modules from educational kits to industrial grade equipments and prototyping devices. They have everything you need for your project. So, whether you are a student working on a school project or a professional developing an industrial grade solution, be sure to check out dfrobot.com for all your electronic needs. Now, let's continue with our IoT journey. Here is the content for this IoT series. We will have around 12 episodes to cover all these topics. Each episode will be of 15 to 20 minutes and I will release one episode per month. Yes, I know, it's long wait. But trust me, I'll make it worthwhile by delivering simple, understandable, practical episodes of IoT. Chapter 1 Introduction to IoT That's what we have covered till now. For in detail introduction, I'm going to provide a link to a book which I refer. Chapter 2 The Architecture of IoT In this chapter, we are going to see the basic architecture of IoT. The architecture of IoT typically consists of four layers namely 
परसेप्शन लेयर नेटवर्क लेयर मिडिल वेयर लेयर एंड द एप्लीकेशन लेयर परसेप्शन लेयर Perception layer is the bottom most layer of IoT architecture. This layer consists of physical devices like sensors and actuators to interact with physical world. Sensors are the devices which are responsible for gathering data from the environment. For example, smoke sensors installed in our living spaces or a safety curtain installed on a production line. Actuators are the devices responsible for taking actions based on the instructions received. Let's take the same example. Smoke alarm beeping after sensing the smoke. Here the actuator is the buzzer. We will cover more about sensors and actuators in the next episode. Network layer. This layer facilitates the communication between the perception layer and the other layers of the IoT architecture. It involves various wired and wireless communication technologies and protocols for data transmission such as wifi bluetooth zigbee cellular ethernet ip and other industrial technologies example for network layer is our home wifi router through which all our smart devices are interacting middleware layer this layer sits between network layer and the application layer providing services to enable message brokers protocol converters and data management platforms message brokers are used for communication between devices and applications using publish subscribe messaging patterns for example mqtt is the most popular method known for this protocol converters translate data between different communication protocols used by different devices data management platform handle tasks such as data encryption data storage data retrieval and data processing application layer this is the topmost layer of the iot architecture where data from different iot devices is processed and utilized to provide value added services applications in this layer can range from simple data visualization and monitoring dashboards to complex analytics and control systems IoT applications may include functionalities like real time monitoring, predictive maintenance, remote control, automation and optimization. These applications can be hosted on local server, cloud platform or edge devices depending on requirement of the IoT system. For example, a mobile application for monitoring and controlling our smart home systems. All right, we'll stop this episode here. In the next episode we'll learn about sensors actuators and controllers with practical demonstrations and explanation If you like this IoT series let everyone know by hitting that like button and providing your valuable feedback in comment section below Also share this with your friends and family who might be interested in IoT Thank you for now and I'll see you next time